Okay, let's start a new game. Gangro. I usually play female just for the what? Let's add strength and stamina and intelligent. Dodge, Stealth, Melee, okay. should Messing with it, and somebody called me. I want to show you something. They've been busy. <laughs> yeah, you get her name in her T-shirt. in the heart first thing you wake up good evening my fellow kindred my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening it's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one we are here because the laws that bind our society the laws that are the fabric of our existence have been broken as prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as... Up to tonight, I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind, and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Your sire.
tragic. My apologies. But you see, there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must... must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone, breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So, what I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. <laughs> what a scene, man. Movie. <laughs> they just plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so, uh, once let me show you the ropes. Wait a sec. Who are you? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your high and low trade life story, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You wait her out. Okay, I could use the help. All right. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least. Could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? Drink of what? Oh, man, we're popping a cherry here. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love this. All right, check it out. Blood? It's your new rack of lamb, your new champagne, like your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready, though, because, hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. But now we're on the there, I saw this human. Or else he'll be can't find his car. <laughs> I like that giggle. So, what do, do I mean, uh... All right. You go down there, casually. You creep up on him. The very little fangs and feet. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something. Because it'll come so natural if you think you've done it a thousand times already. Want to become a vampire then? <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure, though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain them dry, okay? It might be hard to resist. But don't kill him. All righty then. about it but it feels good all right now you got the blood you're feeling all kick-ass feeling better than your best day living but wait it gets better all kindred kindred that's a our word for vampire all kindred have a few things in common things that set them right square above humans on the food chain yeah like what 
like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still a chance of immortality's not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. So, am I gonna live forever? Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic, it's worthless. A cross, pfft, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak, only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water, that's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. <laughs> now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire, that's real trouble. Sunlight, well, you catch the sunrise and it's all over, kid. Okay? I got it. Okay now. What the fuck is this? Look, you get inside here and head upstairs. You meet up in a bit. I'm just gonna go see what the ruckus is. Search this room. Okay, okay. Oops. I think. Okay, I uh, might have to squat to do this. Having trouble with the controls and spinny. Like I said, it's been years. Let's get the lock pick. Come down here. Stay away from the windows. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. Sabat? Yeah. Uh, Christ, I was hoping to spare this shit to later. Uh, the Sabbat. Well, no. uh, they're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, all right? So what's up? The Sabbat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. What's he the prince of? No time for political rundown. Job one, get out of here alive. Sabat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like he wants to mess with. What am I supposed to do? Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away. The sheriff. Sabat bastards. All right, we gotta have a moose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. I'm on it. Okay. That's not anything. Not picking. I had my moment. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes for those Sabat assholes. You're a big bad man, but yeah, great congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you get your chest in. Respect. Wait. I still got a list of people from school. Why not? It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feed. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters around running 815 from Sacramento. It's, it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Oh, get it. 
Keep our secret secret and make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a legend like you. What do you mean? What could happen? That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. They make a tiny business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Mm, I see. All right, now don't worry, because I know the area. You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. Okay, what does that mean exactly? You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. You gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. I'll find it. <laughs> Safe. Crouch. Yeah. Oh, that. What's the difference? Blood's blood, right? Well, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. If you say so. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. Say, I get a little overzealous. What happens then? An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's going to cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. The beast? What exactly does that mean? The beast? It's always there. It's waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. So I can't kill anyone? I, 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 I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12-gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. Self-preservation is a vital part of humanity, after all. My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> I think I follow. The only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity and don't go hungry. It's a fine line. Got it. All right, now go feed. Careful, though. He's going to drain fast. Be back in a minute. Okay, I'm sweet. Down. 
Didn't need him, but just needed experience. Not quite so good, huh? Yeah, you can do worse. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive feeding on animals if you can stomach that kind of thing. Worse than a bomb snack? That scarf tastes like old gym socks. I'm gonna try. Oh. Get on this way down here. Only when you unstart. Actually, hit F. <laughs> Just couldn't bear it, huh? Ah, it's okay. I like kindred society. Let's down on that kind of thing anyway. I can see why. I'm not down with Rudy myself. Unless I'm starving. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. This one guy. Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. Sneak where? The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows, and don't let him see you. I'll do my best. All right, go. See you in a minute. Go. Crouch. Up here. Okay, I think I'll split the tutorial here. And, uh, let's see. It's 20 minute long. So, night, have fun, and have fun.